It's the perfect time to restore your lawn after the rigors of the summer and protect it against the harsh winter to come. Using a garden rake, remove the fallen leaves. This helps to keep the lawn healthy and free from disease. Leaves can be put into a garden composter and used on your flower beds next year. Worn play areas, goal mouths and well-trodden paths will need to be reseeded. Use a rake to loosen the soil surface and remove any obvious weeds or stones. A sprinkling of evergreen lawn soil will provide a fine seed bed. Evergreen Lawn Repair Kit is the ideal product as it contains both lawn food and grass seed. Apply the lawn food to help the grass seed establish quickly. Lightly rake into the soil. Scatter the grass seed onto the bare patch at 35 grams per square meter. Water thoroughly. If your lawn is generally looking tired and thin, overseeding is a quick and easy way to rejuvenate it. Overseeding is applying a small amount of grass seed over the existing lawn. Simply scatter grass seed evenly over the area and it'll germinate in a couple of weeks to give a fresher, healthier looking lawn. A special autumn lawn food such as evergreen autumn will encourage strong, healthy root growth without causing rapid top growth. To work out how much fertilizer you will need, you must determine the size of your lawn. This can be calculated by striding the area and multiplying the length by the width. There are a number of ways to apply an autumn lawn fertilizer depending on the size of your lawn. For smaller lawns, buy a spreader pack and simply apply the granules evenly. Old grass, dead moss and other debris can build up in a lawn. This is called lawn thatch. To remove, rake with a spring tine rake, a process known as scarifying. For larger areas, this process is fairly hard work, so powered tools are available to make the job easier. Compacted lawns benefit from spiking to prevent waterlogging, so concentrate on areas that receive the most wear. This process is called aerating. Small areas can be spiked with a garden fork spacing holes around 10 centimeters apart. It's quite time consuming, but only needs repeating every three years or so.